This is going to be a video for people that do not know how to graft or raise queens, but when they go into their hives and either their hive is swarmed or it's getting ready to swarm and there's swarm cells or supersedure cells and you need some queens, this is the easy way. Once you've got the idea or the premise down of, okay, this cell will hatch within the next 24 hours. That's what happened here. I came down, I found the queen, I took two frames out, i.e. this one, this one are the new blanks I put in. There was five swarm cells on this frame here. There are two swarm cells still on this frame that have been, that are not hatched and have not been stung through. We have, I need to move them get them out of the sun but we've got I don't know if you can see them because those two queens are up in the up in this part you can see that one and then see the other one well and the third one's in there too in that very top these are virgins knowing that this hive I'll put these in the shade right quick so they don't overheat knowing that they would be hatching within 48 hours is when I when I marked it, I marked it for the 18th. They'd hatch on the 18th. No, 17th. Today's the 18th. Virgin queens will not fight for at least 24 hours because they've got to harden up, get their wings ready to go. So I'm down here this morning. When I came down here, I found the first virgin on the frame that still has the queen cells. Then there was this frame in between. This frame was number three in the number three slot. Let's go ahead and put this over here so you guys can see. It'd been the number three slot because I do left to right. There was a virgin on this frame. This was frame number four. This was frame number five. And there was a virgin on this frame. This frame had brood. This frame had, has brood. This frame is a honey frame. You also, some, some of the people will tell you, you'll never find a queen on the honey frame or an outside frame. We just proved it wrong. There's an outside frame. This was an outside frame. I brought five queen cages just in case all five of them had hatched. Looking at the other two, it will be later on at this afternoon. I'll come back down here around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. If one of them's hatched and the other one hadn't, I'll catch her leave her in the hive in the cage, come back tomorrow and see if the other one hatches. That way, if the other one's a dud, I've still got a virgin in the hive. If both of them's a dud, I'll still have one of these because these are just going to go to a two-frame mating nuke, i.e. probably that one right there will be one of them. And I'll make this one up for another one, but that's what's going to happen. That's the easy way. Once you get experienced enough to tell by looking at the cells how long it's going to be before they hatch. I guess I could pull that one out and show you a little bit of what I'm talking about. If I can do this with one hand and the camera and the bees are not all over them. Yeah, the bees are all over that one and I can't shoo them off of that one. And they're all over that one right there. But you can see that one, if it's focusing, that one bee is chewing on the bottom of that cell. And they're chewing on the bottom of that cell. The cell next to it hatched. They're still brewed in this corner. And some in that corner it's still capped. And then some up here that's still capped. But I'll come back this afternoon. I would say that cell's going to hatch first. That one will be second. You can see that that one's already hatched. But that's the tip for folks that do not know how to graft and have the time to be at home and be able to come down here and check these hives. You got to mark them. I, the way I mark stuff, I can look down the yard and tell exactly what's going on in each hive by the way I've got stuff on top. You got to devise your own way of marking things. Record keeping is key. 
because if I'd been a day late, those three would have fought or one, the first one to harden up good enough to fly would have swarmed. And this year, 2020, I've kind of dubbed the year of the swarm. Last year was the year of the drone. Hives made so many drones it wasn't funny all spring and into summer. Well, this year, they're swarming. Where well, I've grafted in the hives, taken the grafts out, and left whatever cells they built on the frame, the first queen out, she wants to swarm. So now I've been going in and doing this. Caging them, putting them in mating nukes, and getting them mated to sell. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe, share the video. Hope you learned something. Have a great day.